Hey Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading for, what is it? 14th to the 21st, I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new here, hello, hi, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on for you for this week. We are coming into the full moon on Pisces on the 20th, so like big, big energy for you. Um, really exciting time. Go check out your mid-monthlies. It was lit. Okay, it was such a good mid-monthly video for you. We do have Mercury going retrograde on the 26th, so, you know, you know the deal, right? Hide your kids, hide your wife. No, just joking. Make sure you back up your computer and give yourself extra time if you're traveling, all the things. I am already experiencing some. So, okay, so fun fact, I don't know. Oh, sorry. So I, uh, sorry, I just looked down at the cards and I was like, oh my God, this is actually so beautiful. Um, so I don't know if you know this. Fun fact, if you have Mercury retrograde in your natal chart, the shadow period leading into Mercury retrograde and the shadow period after Mercury retrograde are like the Mercury retrograde for those that are born with Mercury retrograde. How many times can I say that in, in a sentence? Um, hopefully that made sense to you. So, so I'll give you an example. I have Mercury retrograde in my natal chart. I was born under Mercury retrograde. And so the shadow period of Mercury retrograde is when I feel all the effects of it in the mercury retrograde season i actually thrive so while everyone's like ah, mercury retrograde people in their natal chart actually thrive so just a fun fact in case you didn't know it's not like a hard time for us because we're born during it right maybe she's born with it maybe it's mercury retrograde okay let's see what's going on here for the week for you we also are coming into the libra sun what the sun transitions into Libra. Why can't I talk? Oh, right. Mercury retrograde shadow period um, on the 22nd. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm done. Okay, what is going on here, my fellow fishes? Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have Cancer and we have the Moon. So um, naturally, a lot of stuff around the house. Okay, you might be focusing on your house, nurturing, taking care of yourself, taking care of the ones that you love. Uh, definitely, I have a feeling, even though it's Cancer, Cancer rules the Moon and the full Moon is on the 20th. Like, think about what seeds you planted back in um, March. I think it was March 13th that it was the new Moon in Pisces. Those things might be coming to fruition, okay, um, as we enter into this full moon, which is exciting. And, and then, like, there's a big emphasis on the moon, okay? So you got the moon at the bottom of the deck. You got the fourth house here, which is Cancer. It's the moon, okay? It's the house of, um, it's uh, I belong. It's the house of the origins. Here's where we see our home, bloodline, feelings of safety, comfort, mother figure, tradition, and lifestyle. It also shows where we come from, okay? The card you got for the mantra is acceptance. I am learning to see, or sorry, I'm learning to accept the things I cannot change, okay? Um, but then we got the point here too, sorry, not but. We also have the moon here too. So I have a feeling. I got a feeling. Ooh, that tonight's gonna be a good night. I have a feeling. And then, oh my god, I didn't even think about this. Okay, so the way I do, wait. I'm forgetting two cards, my bad, you. Um, the way that I do the readings is I pick, like, it's not technically a card for the day of the week, but I like to do seven cards to kind of walk through the week because there's seven days of the week. And we have Justice and the Magician as, um, like, the last two cards here. Okay, that's too many. Can I just get two more, please? So Death came out, and that was a six, I think, I saw. Why are you doing this? Can I get two more, please? I just need two more, please. I just need two more, please. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, let me know if you have Aries, uh, Sagittarius, or Leo prominent in your natal chart because the King of Wands is showing up. <laughs> okay, please go watch your mid monthly reading. After you watch this one, what the fudge? You guys and gals of days of thems. Oh my god, this is so good. Okay, so strength, the moon, king of wands, just. 
Justice, The Magician, Empress, Ace of Cups. And these are the three last cards, which are connecting to so 19 20 21 because that's the last three days hello baby hello my darling hello my baby hello my mother brown um hello hello love bugs yeah that <laughs> okay listen to me please okay on the 20th of this month you shall sit with the moon and shed everything. Listen, I want to say girls, so I don't know if a lot of you are females that are watching this, but if you're not, I think it's the feminine energy that you're really working through, okay? The moon is feminine energy as well. There, there is something here that you are illuminating, okay? Maybe it's shadow work, maybe it's difficulties, maybe it's a lack of courage or bravery or hope or trust with that strength card. Maybe it's a, like, maybe you create these own narratives in your mind or you had this habit of creating these narratives in your mind that like you weren't deserving, you weren't good enough, yada, 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 whatever, whatever, okay? And not anymore, baby cakes, okay? Not anymore. This is special. Holy shit, is this ever incredible, okay? You start off with the strength, so this week you're coming in and you're like, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. And as you return to the moon, I just feel like you're ready to face your inner demons. Honestly, I'm, I'm drawn to this dark entity here, right? You're like looking at the moon in the shedding phase on the 20th, and you're gonna be like, release. Release the self-limiting beliefs. Release the blockages. Release everything that's no longer serving me. Release, release, release. I am ready to receive. I am receiving. I am a like. I am a vessel of abundance. I am a vessel of love. I'm, I'm a vessel of all the vessels. Okay. With the King of Wands energy facing this, I, I do have to tell you that for some of you, I feel like it's. I don't know if it's like a lack of like believing in yourself and your creative like abilities or if it's a lack of believing that you can convert your creativeness and your like creative pursuits or your creative talents into something that is financially abundant. Because I feel like with the king, he's kind of looking at this stuff right? And he's saying, no, no, like, I, I, we can do this, right? And then it's the strength, it's the female, it's kind of like looking the other way, almost wanting to deny the shadow aspects, okay? So in the beginning of the week, like, I'm really intentional, okay? I'm actually going to look and see what's happening the next uh, few days, like when you, hold on a sec, let me go through this for a minute. I like giving you all dates. Now, let me know if you excuse me, like this astrological aspect. Okay, so yeah, the sun opposite Neptune on the 14th, Mars enters Libra. Okay, and then we got sun trine Pluto. Yeah, so you're like, there is big energy here about transformation. As you enter into the middle of the week, that justice card, maybe you are balancing the scales, the karmic scales, any maybe like negative self-beliefs, whatever, like the fucking karma that you have been carrying, the drama, whatever. It's like, you're like, we're clearing it out. We're clearing it. We're walking away from it. We're clearing it. It's done. It's finito, okay? And then, then, it, like, it's almost like you have to clear the shadow aspect of the self or, like, work through these things so that you could, like, have a clean slate for this, okay? Abundance, luck, prosperity, happiness, emotional fulfillment, okay? Feeling good in your energy, having a lot of flow of money, okay? Like you being able to manifest exactly what it is you desire, okay? Aligning with the energy of the universe. This is so good. I'm so excited for you. My knees hurt from smiling so much. Oh my Lord Jesus, okay? So whatever you want, baby, it's yours. It is yours, okay? But you have to you have to, have to figure out, for some of you, it's maybe shadow work around your home, around your life, around your mom, okay? Maybe it's like some stuff like that, but like, damn, this is, this is some juicy shit, that's for sure, okay? Um, we're going to move on to your love reading now, like the love section of this. So I want to tell you crystals that um, can support you in your journey. Um, 
If you have pyrite, okay, pyrite is amazing. This is called Bastet. It's available on my website. I create modern day amulets. I do them all here. None of the shit's like pre packages. I make it all by hand, put my energy into it, and I'll send it up to you. All right. Um, so it's a pyrite blend with black tourmaline. Um, even e-shell would be great too, because it transmutes all kinds of like, you know, icky feelings into positivity, hope, love, luck, and love and courage. And it's got the citrine as well. Okay. Um, those would be two pieces that I would totally recommend. Luminous as well. Divina, if you're wanting to tap into your divine feminine energy, that's right here. I feel like I should do that to like so you can see them and actually so I can see them too. Even priestess or high priestess, this is Davina as well, okay? If you wanna book a live one hour reading with me, take a look at the description box below as well. Oh my God, I love this, I love this so much for you. This is making me feel very happy for you, very happy, very happy indeed. Okay, we got flirt, um, express your love. Okay, um, very soon clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now maybe some of you are getting really clear on the type of partnerships and relationships and connections that you're desiring in your life particularly if you're single um if you are in a relationship you got the eight of cups for the flirt and your light-hearted energy to others um you know i don't really know how the eight of cups fits in there so i'm going to ask for a clarifier on that eight of cups because i feel like i feel like maybe some people may be trying to like flirt with you and you're just like yeah um yeah seven of cups you're like i don't want to i don't want to accept anything it's reversing on the wheel i think the universe is saying like smile flirt if you're at the gym eh. if you're at the grocery store and you don't have to wear a mask eh. if you're walking down the street eh. you know you don't have to be so serious all the time okay um the chariot yeah like you could very well be having a libra i mean there's lots of energy here libra virgo leo sagittarius aries leo is showing up heart heavy here cancer the chariot is cancer um showing up and maybe wanting to make an offer to you okay and the moon again girl sorry okay i'm sorry I'm just so excited for you. Um, and then the moon is showing up for children. So maybe a lot of you may have kids or maybe worried about not being able to have kids or feeling like it's too late. Like there may be narratives around children that may be blocking you. Let it go. Release it, okay? Believe that you can have it all, my love bugs, okay? Everything is coming to you now fluidly. You are abundant. You have more than enough for everything that you ever desire in your life. All right, Pisces, thanks so much for watching. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We'll see you on the next one. See you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.